hello my people welcome to the channel if you are new and to all my subscribers thank you for always supporting me so guys in today's video it is going to be about advice that every sport better needs Ad like advice that every sport better needs or things that every sport better needs to be able to stay in sport betting industry for a long period of time without getting whether broke or bankrupted so if you are interested in that you need to stay with me from beginning till the very end and uh, there are actually four there are actually four in number so if you follow that particular principles or that particular advice then you are going to be a hero in sport betting and you never get broke your bank roll your, your bank account will always inflate so by the way if you are ready for that subscribe to the channel below like just touch the subscribe button and smash the like button so first thing that you need to like to know or what you need to know or what you need to have as a sport better is strategy you need to have strategy as a sport better you can just bet anyhow no you don't just bet anyhow you need to have a strategy that you bet on or that you use to bet let's say me for instance i bet mostly on over 1.5 goals that's a strategy that i use over 1.5 goals that's a strategy that i use and sometimes i bet most of my games second half sometime so guys i'm not saying you should also use that strategy maybe it may work for me but it may not work for you based on maybe we have different analysis and different different perspectives maybe the way i will analyze the game and understand it you understand it different way so that's the case you need to have an like strategy what did i mean like let me break the strategy down you need to have okay i'm better who is better on win so you need to always look for teams that are capable of winning full time let's say you are having a strategy of winning like betting on team to win full time that's your strategy or you are having a, a strategy of like playing first half over 0 0.5 goals that's another strategy for you or you are betting on over 0 0.5 goals for second half or under 3.5 goals for second half or you're betting win either half so that's actually there are many or you're betting both teams to score actually there are many or you're betting on corners different different so but you need to pick one of these strategies you can't just combine all the strategies and expect it to work for you no we don't do that way pick a part one particular strategy keep it for some period of time like you can practice it for about one month and see what is your wins and what is your loses combine it to see whether you are in profit or you are in loss so when you are able to like when you are able to do that for that period of time you can like you do it for some period of time you pick one strategy if you see it's not working for you leave that strategy pick another strategy practice it for another time if it is not working leave it pick another one till you get the one that is working for you so when you get the strategy that is working for you the second thing that you need to do is bank roll management so guys if you see me like looking down i wrote some things on the paper so i need to look at it down look at it and be able to tell you what you need to do with that so i'm sorry about that so but what can i do that's the case so you need to have bank roll management what do you mean by bank roll management you should have the amount that you need you are willing to spend on daily basis or monthly basis or, or yearly basis so that you will not be like you will not run bankrupt when like you end up losing more so even if you know how to manage your bank roll, you should say okay you should have a, a bank roll management okay every day i'm going to be bet on twenty dollars five dollars it can even be one dollar so it's not any big deal depend on your the amount of money that you have will determine your bank roll so if you are having less money that means less bank roll big money big bank roll so in that order that's it 
but it's actually like it's simple to do that let's say okay if you are willing to spend about let's say three million in a year divide that three million by a month so you get the, the amount that you can be able to do that you can spend in a month so if you get it in a month divide it by by 30 to get how much you, you are like you'll be spending in a day so if you now get that if you now get that that means that if you spend up to that amount for a day you need to leave you need to leave the day allow it like if you have other games leave it and wait for the next day and the third one that i will be talking about is profit margin you should have a profit margin as a better you should have a profit margin as a better okay if you say okay by the end of maybe every day i need to have a profit margin you can't say that i need to have this no it's not possible um, yeah, you need have to have a rate okay every day i need to have a profit margin of three let's say three dollars up to ten dollars or three dollars up to twenty dollars depending on your like the rates that you are willing to take so if you don't have that like profit margin okay every day i want to be making like i need to be making about five dollars that's maybe how you take it like minimum should be maybe five dollars for me or a maximum should be maybe twenty dollars a day so if you are able to make up to twenty dollars that's the maximum for a day you don't need to continue leave the day rest get energy for the next day so that's the case like you don't need to be betting the whole day you see you are just betting you are having best slips 20 30 40 no in a day no don't bet you can pay even have about three best slips you can have about three best slips and it's a bet but it's a killer best slip that means you maybe you can win all the three it's better than having about 20 best slip and end up losing about 15 and winning five so try to always have a profit margin when it comes to sport betting and always try to do calculation always calculate okay am i making profit or am i making loss at the end of a month always try to do that always try to do that so when you are making profit if you think you can increase maybe your race fine if you are seeing that you're also making loss and you think you can decrease your race then it's also fine and Actually, I combine it with the fourth one, which is Rex management. Rex management. Let's say it may even come someday. The whole, the, let's say you place about four base slips or five base slips in a day, you end up losing all. I'm not saying it's going to happen or it will always happen, but I'm just saying an example. You end up losing all. And you have spent maybe your daily budget you have spent it though like you see somebody some people if they spend up to that level like they they lose all the games and they have spent all their budget for the day they will still go for the next day budget and spend it to best so that they just they are just willing to make like just win make profit and you end up like using all your money on one day and end up losing everything and you become bankrupt that means you can't bet again let's say you spend the, the whole day like the, your budget for the day and you didn't win you spend the next day on you didn't win that means the next day you will not be able to place bet and maybe that day maybe even be your lucky day you are having enough games that you always trust and you have already spent that day that day money so you have no money again to bet on so always try to have rest management like being able to manage your rest even when you are losing to certain points you should be able to let it go let it go so it's part of betting losing is part of betting and it's a big lesson you can learn from that it's a big lesson you can learn from that when it comes to betting so i think most of you underestimate it you underestimate rest management and that's the pillar of betting when you're not having that that means 
betting, you're not ready to bet. That's what I would say. You're not ready to bet. And um, the killer, the killer of your bankroll is risk management. When you are having poor risk management, that means bankrupt. You are going to run into bankrupt. So, guys, I think I've talked a lot, and that's what I can share with you for the day. Thank you for watching, and if you find it viable, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button, and you can also share this video to friends. I know it's, it's a, something that is viable. You can share it to friends so that they can also benefit from that. And if you want to reach other people, if you are not having anybody to share with, you can just like the video so that YouTube will push it out to other people out there to also benefit from that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.